hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl marceline here today i'm just going to be showing you guys my little garden and just to inspire someone to plant something today because whatever you plant that's what you're going to reap from and you don't necessarily have to go visit the market as often all right so be inspired i have so many things in this garden i'm gonna do a full garden tour update on my other channel which is my family channel the row family so right now i'm just cutting some callaloo from my garden and then i'm gonna make some callaloo the two last one you cut this yes i found the first one now. Lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Guys, raise your hand if I see the gungo tree in the back. <laughs> my mom brought it brought some gungo seed from florida and she planted them and they are coming up real nice so hopefully we can reap them before the coal um damage them Ooh, nice beautiful fresh hallelujah from my farm to my table to my belly <laughs> Too pretty to cut. This? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so guys, I got some kalaloo seeds from one of my friends and I sowed them and this is a result of sowing a few seeds. It's just so beautiful to just plant a seed and watch it grow into something so beautiful. And um, I haven't had kalaloo in a while now, so I'm pretty excited because I've tried the one in the tin and I really don't like it. So I'm really excited right now. Cut him. We can have color one next day and I wake you know. But then you can yeah, just chop them. 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 No, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 so now I am just going to rinse my callaloo and you know that vegetables carry insect, alright? Whether you want to admit it or not, it does carry insects. So it's best to make sure that they're washed properly with running water. And then I'm going to soak them in another container with some salt. So the salt will remove whatever impurities or whatever insect or whatever is on it. So yeah, um, I never grew up buying callaloo. Um, cut up. I always have to just buy them, wash them, strip them, cut them up myself. So one day my mom came to visit when I was living in Jamaica. She came to my house to visit and saw me went to the supermarket and buy the color cut up and she was so mad. Like, why did you do that? You don't know if the cut of worms or anything in it. So it's just a part of me to just buy the color. If you don't have any other choice, then that's different. But I usually just buy the callaloo in the bundle, strip them, wash them and everything myself. So there you have it guys, a fresh bundle of organic callaloo straight from my backyard. So as Andrew, not Andrew Holmes, um, Bruce Golden used to say, eat what you grow, grow what you eat. Yeah, that's me right now. So I left them soaking in some water, in some salt water and I went to Walmart. So now I'm just going to remove the, uh, the outside. Um, era i'm just gonna strip them and then cut them up and i i'm going to cook them down my friend was visiting from oklahoma and she was so excited to have some freshly grown callaloo so i gave her some suckers to bring back with her and here i have my skeleton onion my peppers and my tomatoes i'm gonna mix callaloo and saltfish but guys when i'm making callaloo and saltfish 
I cook them separately for two reasons one of my daughter she doesn't eat fish she has a fear of bones so but she loves kalaloo so whenever I'm making this now I am gonna have to cook it up differently and the other reason is I just like the different taste of each component like the kalaloo just I, I want to taste the flavor of the kalaloo different from the flavor of the sawfish if you understand what I'm trying to say but you can go ahead and cook them up together but um, now I'm just going to add a little oil in my pot and then I'm going to fry up my peppers and my skelly and onion and all of that and then I'm going to add my kalaloo so guys there are bags laying everywhere on the ground everywhere in my kitchen right now there are bags because i'm just coming back from the grocery store so just let me put that out there right now because yeah just in case you think my kitchen is messy it's not really messy you know what a kitchen looks like when you come from the grocery store yeah so as you can see all my vegetables are cooking perfectly and then we're just gonna throw in our color and you know kalaloo don't take a very long time to cook and i don't like when mine is um you know when i steam it to the point where it's watery i don't like it i like to fry it up i cover it a little so that it can sink in the pot and then i remove the cover but i don't keep the cover on the entire time and let it watery i don't like a watery kalaloo and the tomatoes that i'm using in this video are from my garden as well as i said before we're gonna show you a garden tour and me picking those tomatoes over on my other channel sometime this week maybe thursday but you can go over to my family channel and check out that video i already did um a first video when i was planting some stuff um in a video where i went to the farmer's market yeah um so i'm gonna show you these tomatoes guys that i reaped from my garden So right now I'm just gonna be eyeballing but I've added about a tablespoon of um, chicken bouillon or you can use vegetable seasoning or um, all purpose and then I'm gonna add some black pepper about a half teaspoon of black pepper remember I'm cooking salt fish so you really don't need a lot of seasoning on your vegetable because you don't want it to be salty and you know when whenever the color shrinks you can taste it and see if it needs a little more and add a little more look at that guys that's a real thing you know the real deal the real good food them here trust me so um as you can see it looks really beautiful and i am so excited so don't mind me because i haven't tried like i haven't had the real good color low in six years yeah i haven't and uh, my cousin said that she buy the one in the can in Miami and it tastes good but from my experience the one time I tried it was just a lot of stark and I didn't I wasn't pleased it was watery and it come it is like you barely get any leaf in the can so maybe I need to try a different brand which I don't need to anymore because my backyard is full of color loose, so it's like whatever so um, now I'm just gonna cook up some saltfish and it's the same process that I do the same things that I use my scallion, onion, pepper and all of that bell peppers and scotch bonnet peppers yeah and then I'm just gonna add a little black pepper and that's it So yes guys, the pot land. Over there we have some nice flour dumplings, some cornmeal dumplings, some yams and dasheen. Yes, and for the entire time I was cooking, Maria was standing over me anticipating her dinner. So I'm going to make her a plate and show you guys. So I know that most or all of us that grew up in Jamaica know how to cook kalaloo. But I just wanted to inspire someone today to plant something in your backyard and even if you live in an apartment building that's not an excuse because I used to plant my scallion and my bell peppers and my patio when I used to live in an apartment so 
yeah plant something guys whatever you like to eat just go ahead and plant it thank you so much for watching my video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe to my channel and yeah tell a friend or a family about how we roll cooks and bring them over as well we're going to be doing a live stream soon so stay tuned for that as well thank you so much for watching guys